Welcome to Burundi. Actually, we are in Kenya now, but there are so many people were asking me, how is Burundi? Because Burundi is the world's poorest country. So everybody was asking me, is it safe to travel there? Do they even have food? Uh, how is it? Where is it? So that's why I decided to make a video with some interesting facts about Burundi. That's why I'm here with Alex. Mambo. Welcome. How much you, my friend? Did you just ask me, did you just wish me to have a lot of herds of cattle? Of course, who will you want to have a lot of kettles? Oh, okay. They are good for paying dowry. You can pay dowry. You get a Burundian wife, you can pay dowry. But that's how people yeah. greet in Burundi. Oh, and here in Kenya, we say, Nyaje. Uh huh. You say poor. Oh, okay. And so they... if, I, if I wish you to have a lot of kettles, then it means that you can, you can exchange the kettles with the wife. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> So let's let's learn something with the traveling about the country of Burundi. Welcome to the Republic of Burundi. Burundi is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley at the junction between the African Lakes region. If I start talking about Burundi, I might not finish. Burundi is one of the countries in Africa with green vegetation. Burundi is also known as the world's poorest country, which was announced by the IMF. Burundi borders with Rwanda in north, Tanzania in east and DRC in west. Although Burundi is poor, there are many beautiful corners around the country and its biggest city Bujumbura that are not shown on camera. Burundi is now changing its face. Sit, relax and enjoy the facts about Burundi. Yuri, earlier you told me that uh, you were in Burundi, so is this Burundi? Yes, that's Burundi. It is, it is in Bujumbura. That's the capital of Burundi. Oh, actually, sorry, it's not the capital, but I will explain you later. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you what is the capital city. So I can see they, are, they have uh, different matatus from ours. So how, did, how did you manage to maneuver around Burundi? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Like, uh, it took us two days to get the bus. But do you know where is uh, Burundi? Where is the country? The country, it is located somewhere in, it's, it's a part of East Africa community. It's East African community, but they correct. Are, but their national language is French. They speak a lot of French compared to us here they in They do Kenya. speak a lot of French. They speak French, uh, Kirundi. Kirundi. And yeah. now they're, uh, they're, 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 tra they're transferring to English and they also speak uh, Swahili. A bit of Swahili. Let me show you on the map uh, where where it is. Okay. Let me log in. Uh, it's in the East African, in the Great Lakes uh, region. I, I know it's a, it's one it's one of the biggest. Uh, it, it has the biggest freshwater countries in in Africa. Oh yes, true. It has the Lake Tanganyika. We will also talk about the fact later. Uh, let me show you Burundi. Come and see. It is right here. It borders with the Rwanda to the north. The north. Uh -huh. Ta Tanzania to the east and Congo to the, the west. west. It's a it's a landlocked, landlocked country. Did you know that their borders are natural? What do you mean by natural? You can like you can cross the border freely? No, 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 no. It means that they are formed by, for example, here waters and so, you mean... so the Burundi borders they are natural. They are formed by uh, rivers or like the lake and mountains. As you see, other other borders in Africa they are straight. Straight, yeah. They were just yeah. drawn by the right. colonial powers. Yes. Do you know what is the capital? I think Bujumbura. Bujumbura was the capital, but uh, let me show you. Bujumbura is here on the Lake Tanganyika, but they moved the capital right in the center to Gitega. Gitega. 
And Gitega is now the world's uh, newest capital city. Yeah, but I think Bujumbura is the biggest uh, capital city. It, it was originally the biggest capital city in Burundi, in Burundi, right? It's the biggest. It's the biggest city. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and That's like, what I know about Burundi. It's the busiest. It's like the economic hub. Do you know when they gained uh, the independence? Uh, when was it? Like most of the countries in Africa got mm. it, got the independence in 1962. Uh, apparently, we got our independence here in 1962. 1963. Yeah. Burundi was already 1962. They, they had already gained their independence. And do you know what uh, what country was colonizing Burundi? I, the Belgium. The Belgium, exactly. Belgium colonized the Rwanda, Burundi, and Congo. Congo. That's why they they speak French. And here in Kenya, do you know who colonized us here in Kenya? British. The British. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, Judy. Uh, what's the population of Burundi? There is Burundians. In Burundi are about 13 million. 13 million. So that's a very, like, it's a very tiny country. Do you know it was the third most populous country in, in Africa? Mo most populated? Uh huh. Or, or, most uh, densely populated. Densely, yeah, yeah, I get it. Do you know after which countries? Uh, from Comoros Island. Comoros, yes, very yes. good. <laughs> and um, the second one Congo? is the neighboring. No, yes. the, the one in the north. I told you. Uh, the one in the north that was. Uh, have a look at the map. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not here, but Rwanda. Rwanda, yeah, yes, Rwanda. exactly. The third most populous country in Africa. <laughs> and what's their currency? What currency do they use? Uh, the currency yeah. they use uh, Rwanda, um, Burundi franc. Actually, I have some here for you. <laughs> when I was buying the bus ticket on the video, wait, actually, uh, no. this video is playing. I'll show you. I post another video. These guys jumped on me and they were selling me this currency. Oh, okay. This is a, this this is is a change, old this currency. This one. 500. Wait, these ones. These ones are the new one. Oh, these are the current ones. These are valid. The current uh -huh. one. yeah. These ones are the current one. These ones are the old. That's what I bought with the guys. You can oh, even yeah, see I can, yeah, I'm holding see, I can them see on the, the video. From the video there. And then uh, at one. From 81. And this is, is from 79. 79. This one. Do you think it's a valid or not valid? Is this money? <laughs> Wait. Yes. <laughs> It's old. crazy. I got it in a shop as a change. So someone, someone gave you this. <laughs> yes, I think. Can, I think... can you check, take, take a look at this? Is this even money? <laughs> I think you are conned here, someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lady when she was giving me, she was but, like. But if you take it to the bank, mm -hmm. I think they last accept it. Uh, let me show you. I think it was this five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. This I one. See. I think it's this it, one. It's similar to this one. I can... Yeah, this it's one. the same size at least. It's the same size, <laughs> but uh, I think. No, no. Yeah, it's the same size, but not the same currency, not the same money. I want to make another video about traveling tips because did you know? Uh, do you know how much is uh, this one? Look, look at this ten thousand note. You imagine Burundi have a ten thousand note, and we are <laughs> here in Kenya. We have a one thousand note. But do you know how much is it worth? Uh, ten thousand. Uh, if you convert it to Kenyan shilling, two dollars. Yeah. Two dollars. Like two dollars. This would be about three dollars. Three dollars. Oh, yeah. When I was there, the exchange rate was about two thousand. This was one dollar. That one dollar. But the problem is, if you uh, exchange it on the blank market, yeah. so all the prices are based on this being uh, two of these being one dollar, so four thousand. Mm -hmm. So I want to explain you about uh, other video in the traveling tips to Burundi that you should better get dollars in the country oh that's nice at least uh, i know if i travel to burundi i'll know what the currency rate is uh, at some point because i'd love to travel to burundi someday it's changing a lot the, i was just checking it now and now it's three thousand per dollar the official rate it was two thousand earlier this year oh. and um there was all the exchange Exchange bureaus, they were forbidden. They were forbidden. Yes. So, like, you so you had to exchange it officially. Official, at the official, at the official rate. rates. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what about the black market? The black market, I've heard, is there, uh, like you can just everywhere on the street, but I actually changed all my currency from Rwandese franc 
just at the border. At the border. Which was a are, very good get, trade. Or you are getting in, into Burundi. Yes, exactly. Okay, that's so good. it's good to get enough and plan. <laughs> so let me. Okay, who is the president of Burundi? The president? I don't know. I think he's called someone, something, general, something. Let's have a look. Okay, president a quick one. of Burundi is. Oh my god, I don't even trust myself to pronounce it. Evariste. Evariste Ndiaye <laughs> <laughs> That's a difficult. That this is the longest word I've ever. This is the longest word I've <laughs> ever heard from someone. So, Judy, since you are in Burundi, how much money can you make? Can you make in a day? Okay, I'm not sure how much can you earn. Uh, there is actually very few foreigners. There is like three thousand uh, Europeans and about two thousand South or Asians. But uh, what I know is that uh, the gross national income of mm -hmm. Burundi is $270. $270. Do you know where does it rank in the world? No, apparently no. It makes Burundi to be the poorest country in the world. The poorest country? Yes. But I think uh, it's, it's, it is rich in minerals. That's guess. that's And uh, agricultural sure. agriculture is good. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you. Yeah? What are the tribes of? How many tribes are there in Burundi? There are. Uh, do you know what, the, what are the tribes in Rwanda? Uh, I, the, I think the, the Rwanda have the Hutu and Tutsi. Hutu and Tutsi. That's yeah. the same in in Burundi. Uh, Burundi. Exactly. So it's They're like also... it's like they divided the country. Where they are like uh, the same the same people. Yes. It's like Burundi and Rwanda, they were very similar. Mm -hmm. They also have uh, about one percent of the Twa people, which is the pygmy. Well, the pygmy. The Hutu are the, the Bantu. So the Hutu and the Bantu, they come from the same community. Yes. Oh. And during the colonial rule, uh, the Tutsis were favored. They were uh, the favoring, they were the elite. They were ruling the country, they but ruling. they are only 15%. No, no, I get it. Where the, the, the war came from, the Hutu and the, the exactly. genocide. Exactly. Hutu exactly. and Tutsi. No, I, you I can relate. You remember the genocide yeah, the in genocide Rwanda, in right? Rwanda, yeah, the Hutu and the Tutsi. So in Burundi, Burundi didn't have this type of genocide. Rwanda had like 90 or 100 days of genocide. Very, very brutal three months. But in Burundi, there was like since 1993, I guess, until 2005, there was ongoing conflict and it might even have cost more lives than, than the, the one in Rwanda. The, the, than even the, what, what the media told us, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But in Rwanda, it changed completely after the genocide. The, the, the country came totally different path, it has developed. Whereas Burundi was always on and off with the conflict. So yeah. it was preventing the, the development, unfortunately. Awesome. So uh, I want to, uh, can you give me some, some of the interesting facts of going to One interesting fact I know about Burundi is that there, there is this man eating crocodile. Yeah? <laughs> the crocodile, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it uh, true? Well, from what I, I usually hear from you. Yes, there is a, apparently there is a crocodile that has eaten 300 people already. Whoa, come on, <laughs> you can't be serious. I've, I've heard about it. So tell me about the crocodile. It should be, uh, his, his name was Gustav. Yeah, Gustav. And Gustav. I think he was living on the, on the coast of the Tanganyika Lake. But be careful, don't even try to run away from him. Why? Because it's illegal. Of oh, course, yeah, it's, it, it, the government banned running from Burundi. Yes, even the joke. You know that. That's another interesting fact about Burundi. Because during the conflict, they were afraid that people will gather and they will start right. plotting Plot against the, the uh, and starting some some coup d'état or something. So they banned the, the running. Those are two interesting facts. I'm not really sure if it's uh, if it's still practiced and if somebody can go to jail for jogging. I think I think I've seen it's, some it's a law, right? It's a law it, in Burundi. At least jogging, it was jogging, a law. jogging, jogging. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's banned completely. Yes. In Burundi. <laughs> well, you, you, you need a, you need a permission if, if you want like to. Like a jog, permit? Yes, you would need a, uh, no. or maybe some certain area. <laughs> we, we need, we need to have politician to come and abolish that because uh, <laughs> everyone needs a morning job. But do you for, know? For fitness. Do you know that Burundi got, they, they won an Olympic medal. No, no. I, the, did they participate in the Olympics? Their first Olympics was in 1996, and they actually mm -hmm. got it in uh, running. 
And then when, why did they even <laughs> abolish the, 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 the why did they ban the jogging in, in the room? Because of the because of the conflict. Look, no, that look sense. let me let me confirm what was the athlete. They got one gold medal in one Atlanta. Let me have a look what discipline was it? It was athletics. athletics. Men's five five thousand five thousand five, five kilometers and also the second one was a woman in Rio de Janeiro. In Brazil. Mm-hmm. She got eight hundred. Look, they have they have almost the same names. New New Ngabo, New Ngabo. New Saba. New Saba. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like uh, it's more similar. Some one is men and one is mm. oh, female. <laughs> So, Yuri, since you are in Burundi and you, you know the history of Burundi, and like I do, yeah. So there was war. Yes. Did they have like food or anything like that? Of course, they have food and nice culture. Uh, for, l- let me show you. Actually, <laughs> I was making a video from a restaurant. We were in a ghetto in Kamenge. Kamenge. They eat. The food is pretty much similar to what you have here in Kenya and other East African countries. Like, for example, you will see there. They have rice. They have. Uh, they call it kavunga. Kavunga. Ugali. Ugali. Exactly. Skuma wiki. They have, have it here. Rice. I really love the the piece. Oh, the piece. This, this one was amazing. It was really the delicious. Beef. And nyama, 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 nyama. The, the meat, yes, yeah. beef. That is beef. Exactly. So the the food is pretty much uh, similar. But you know what is uh, what is uh, really interesting. So let's try. Let me try to find some clean. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. But I think they're okay. Yeah. But they are just well. <laughs> okay. So tell me, they have a banana beer. Banana. Beer. It's like. They, Wait, have you heard of it? They have, uh, have had it. In Uganda, they also have the banana beer. They, in Uganda, they have a lot of, they, they eat this matoke, but mm-hmm. in Burundi, they ferment the bananas, they smash the bananas, they ferment them, mm-hmm. and they make alcohol from it. Did you taste the banana beer? I didn't get to taste it. Why? Why? <laughs> but people, I've heard a lot of people drink it, like they gather in a group it's, and they drink it oh, with a wooden it's a traditional straw. beer. It's, it's Tradition, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here in Kenya, we have a traditional beer called. Uh, we have uh, from, since we have a uh, different community, like from my community, we have the Muratira. Can you say Muratira? Muratira. Yeah, that is a traditional what beer. Is it? it is made of honey. Uh huh. And I think uh, fermented, fermented. Uh, what do you call it? Is it chunga? I don't know, but I know it's uh, it's made of honey and oh, okay. something you should, fermented. You, you need should, to let me try. <laughs> you should try it. I will try. Uh, you should you, you love it. But here in course they have the what do we call it? The uh, is it called the what do we call that beer? It's something made of coconut something. Oh okay, yeah. okay, something. Mnazi. It's called Mnazi. Yeah, you should try like, Mnazi. I know Mnazi Moja. In, Mnazi Moja. In, in Tanzania, <laughs> all the places are called Mnazi Moja. No, the Mnazi it's the beer that they Mnazi is coconut. Yeah, Mnazi is coconut, yeah. So they take, in, they they make the beer from coconut. Did you know that in know. Burundi they also have a coast? Like all those seventy thousand refugees they have to go somewhere to the to the coast. The coast. But, but not not the sea. They have yeah. the Lake Tanganyika. They were, I know the Lake Tanganyika is the is the world freshest uh, lake. In, I think in Africa, all the, the it's world. the deepest. It's, it's, it's the second, second deepest, deepest in freshwater lake in the world. In the world. Oh, nice! At it's, least they uh, have a freshwater lake. Did you take? Did you taste the fish from there? The fish, yes. We had the fish like we were in, at the right at the lake. Everywhere you can you can try the fish. But when we were there, the water was not not clear it was like brown Drop. but then we continued let me show you we continued uh, further to tanzania and we were also doing a video about uh, the the lake tanganyika from that side uh so i will show you you can follow the journey here um about 46 percent of the lake is in tanzania and 40 percent uh, in congo in congo and the rest is, mm, is burundi. In burundi so here we are in kigoma there's the city just south of burundi i had to travel to to kigoma fast i wanted to spend like a month in kigoma tanzania that in, is. in burundi, in burundi. They, they have kigoma in burundi 
No, no, no. Uh, this is Tanzania. Tanzania. Oh, yeah. On the like on the shore, shore. of the of the Tanganyika Lake. It was so interesting. The bus drive. You can even see the video from from the bus, though I couldn't really record it. From Bujumbura, mm. this this Kigoma is on the on the lake. On the on the lake side. Oh my god, the bus ride was beautiful. Have it you, was. Have you ridden a bus here in Nairobi? Here you should here in Kenya. Yes, yes, uh, of course. Going, we have the matatus. You are going to love it. I will. I will. I'll yeah. take you. And you, you you'll have to ride in the matatu. But there, when you when you go to Burundi, you should also take this bus because it goes along the coast of the Tanganyika Lake, and it's so beautiful. It, it looks very dangerous. Like it looks if if the it was raining and if the bus would just sleep free, and, sleep. and, and, and like, get into the you're lake. in the world's deep second deepest lake. <laughs> like, you don't want to be there, right? Sure. Uh, I love to. Uh, you you, you wish to go back to Burundi? Yes, I would love to. We will go. But I will give you the tips because, for example, I I can I can only stay one week because of my visa. Yeah. I had to pay. For the visa, it was I had to go to the immigration to extend the visa. But I will tell you that in the in next video. Okay. Tell me about the people in Burundi. Are they kind? Are they generous? Or, or are they hostile? The people are very nice. Uh, the, the they were very welcoming. Uh, it's a bit problem. They don't speak English or uh, they speak a bit of Kiswahili. Kiswahili that was helping. French. French, yes, but I, I don't know no almost French. anything in French. Did you have a translator? Did you get a translator? We were meeting a couple of friends. They took us out to some places. We were going a lot to this Kamenge. Mm -hmm. We were making a video from uh, with our concept. My the, the first concept of our videos was called Silent Heroes. Silent Heroes. Yeah. So we are doing there a video with Deo, who was uh, who is making like uh, cultural items. So, like the ornaments and yes, the bangles. Yes, exactly, the bangles and those. Mm -hmm. So he is even then. He was showing the traditional Burundian dance. dance. Do you see? They have the spear. The, they have, he has the spear. It's in the... He, his clothes, uh, he is in the Burundian flag colors. Do you see? Yes. The red, that means the war, mm -hmm. the green means the nature i think and then on the flag they have the stars which represent the 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 tribes the tribes they, they have the three tribes yeah you told me they have two tribes exactly oh. so i hope i hope you're excited about I'm, Burundi. I'm, excited. I'm, I'm even interested I'm, i want to i want to travel to Burundi. you should definitely will, travel. Will, travel it's a very interesting country but i will try to make some video about traveling tips because it's the world's poorest country and uh, it's not it's not that easy for me i had to i had to stay i could only stay one week because i didn't have uh i didn't bring enough cash okay, and yeah, get it. you should you should be careful but i will give you some tips please and do. before i travel i love to get these good tips i and think also, you should write a book about the about, about, about Burundi, Burundi, yes, yes, but it was just one week. It would not be enough. At least, for me. Uh, it will be, it will but, be like a uh, 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 twenty pages. <laughs> but you can traveling tips. You can help me to to do some videos here in, uh, in Nairobi. Yeah, definitely. In Nairobi. You're yeah. from Nairobi. I'm from Nairobi. Now, but here now we are, we are in Mombasa. Mombasa. Welcome Mombasa. to Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. I hope you liked it. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Adios. What is the most important? To survive. How hard is it to survive in Burundi? In Burundi we are no food. We are poor, no peace. The people are die with the, with the poor.